Okay. Was the majority of this film done digitally? Was it entirely done digitally? Eighty-five, or? about eighty-five percent was shot digitally. Loved it. I Thank think you. this could really change the way movies are made. Uh, if yeah, I mean, it it it, it worked because I needed to see into into the night. You know, the whole movie takes place in this kind of night town world, and it's kind of you know technicolor landscape of L.A. at night, and you need to see it. If I was shooting film and say the crime scene where Mark Ruffalo was in the alley against the city. If they had been shot on film, those would have just been defocused points of light in the distance. We wouldn't have seen even the buildings. And so, uh, um, you know, so that's, that's why video, if I was going to shoot a film daytime in the desert tomorrow, I'd probably shoot on film, you know. So mm -hmm. it's, you go yeah. to what tools you need. Did yeah. you have fun touching it up and, you know, maybe pulling something yeah, back? Yeah, no, it's a whole different, it's completely different than shooting film because you're, 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 shoot, you're, you're recording the raw material and then I'm going to go into a uh, situation in, um, with a uh, color timer named Stefan Seinfeld and we, will, we can then really manipulate the image and do all kinds of things to it you can't do on film. Yeah, it was it was fascinating. I love that. And being an LA native, yeah. you know, it was so it was yeah. so fun to see. Now, your cast was amazing. How did the cast come together? How did you? Well, the cast came together when you know I had to figure out who do I want to go to to play Vincent, who do I want to go to to play Max, and I got into a discussion with Tom about you know both characters. I mean, and uh, then the pro in our dialogue together, the prospect of him playing Vincent came up, and I thought this is a really good idea because he never played. I've never seen him play a character like this. If I hadn't seen him in his audience and I'm excited about it, you know, given that he would, you know, obviously he would have to uh, embody the character and transform himself into this guy totally. Uh, no half measures, no G-rated, genre-derived guy, but really, you know, we would really find the guy and really become the guy and that's exactly what we did. He you did. He that's exactly what he did. I mean, it's... Uh, he found the guy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Jamie Foxx, of course, did an yeah. amazing job as well. And he uh, was relatively, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not as, we haven't seen as much of him on film. Right. So uh, what was your, why did you decide to go with Jamie? Uh, well, Jamie and I, you know, we worked together on Ali, and he was, uh, he was Bundini. And, and, uh, and I've known, you know, I, I was knocked out by Jamie on In Living Color. And I thought that the that the depth of the characters that he would, the characters he would bring to it, the depth of those characters. So, uh, you know, he, you can tell this is a guy who's accessing character in a really deep way. And they, their chemistry was amazing. Yeah. You know, between Tom and Jamie, it was yeah. just you know totally believable. You know, totally involving. You know what I mean? You, yeah. You yeah. you got the whole thing. Um, now. This is, I, I really like this film. This is one of the best ones I've seen this year. How does it sit in your body of work? This is the most... I don't really analyze it that way. I was just coming off of, coming off of Ali. You know, I asked myself, what do I really want to do next? I said, man, I want to do a really intense story that uh, uh, takes place in Los Angeles as night, at night. There's a, there's a drama. Uh, you know, between two characters that, that involves some genre components and it's short and intense and my imagination is unrestricted because I'm not dealing with historical events. That's where I started. And then I went looking for the, the script and it, then it became this one. Were there any surprises? Uh, there are always surprises. There's never not surprises. Um, uh, I couldn't really tell you what they were. Yeah, I mean, the, the surprise, I think that, that working with uh, uh, digital media before it was really ready for prime time was really irritating <laughs> at times, you know. And um, uh, so, you know, there was that part of it, but they said, you just take that, you know, a grain of salt. Uh, that the city looked, the, 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 um, the uh, how short-lived, the city would look a certain way with certain light, you know, and that would start changing on you, and you had to catch it really fast. So how fast it would shift into something else was like, whoa, you know, you got to move, you know. Too. Great. Well, Great. thank you very thank much. You. I think you made yeah. the digital.